I don't know if I'm feeling good enough to record this video, but we're gonna give it a shot. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. Sick Jedi, still hanging in there. But I needed to pull a couple shards for today, and I wanted to record it. You know, just in case something crazy happens. Who knows, you know. Also, RIP Steelers, <laughs> all my Steeler fans out there. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm rooting for the Bills or not, but the playoffs are certainly very interesting. As far as the progressive chance goes... I don't really need any of these. I will definitely be trying for Sepulcher Sentinel on the free-to-play. I think that would be absolutely legit. That would be very, very good. Uh, also, any of the other ones would be good. You know, Achek would be good. I don't know whether to put Sepulcher in there, though. Because, like, there's so many other good champions. But, you know, I'd be happy with Sepulcher. But anyway, um, I'm going to pull my three for today, and, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get into a little bit more. But definitely, I'm going to pull three Sacreds, see if I can get lucky here, you know, just as like, uh, hey, Jedi, you're sick, so let's, you know, pull some shards and get some legendaries. I would caution you guys about pulling shards. Um, as you can see, I've been diligently saving some other types of shards, but not ancients. You know, I pulled a giant pile of ancients, um, in order to get my archer. Definitely worth it. I have been getting frequent sacreds from clan boss, so I've been saving those. And, you know, winning them in Doom Tower, etc. But, there should be an event coming up for... Uh, this Knight's Rev guy, this Blade Master, and the rumors that I'm hearing, not from Plarium, just internet rumors, the rumors I'm hearing is that he's going to be in a Hero's Path event. Um, so he seems like he'll be obtainable, and he has a very, like, a very supportive kit. So, like, he kind of reminds me of, like, a, an Islin type of a guy, or, like, a Snick Track, like, somebody that we're going to be using to, like, really protect our team, like a Duchess kind of a champion, but with just without the revive. Um, and protected buffs are nothing to, uh, to undervalue. That's, that's definitely strong, and I think I might have undervalued that when I looked at it the first time. So I think he could be a really strong support. So if you're in a spot to save some shards, then, uh, you know, hold off, you know, because, oh my goodness, what, what, am I stuck in a loop here? Um, because, you know, a double Lego is one thing, you know, but if you can actually guarantee yourself a specific champion instead of dupe um you know fusions that are bad then i think that that's better but you got to decide how you want to live your life i think that saving for specific events regardless of what they are is the best play in raid shadow legends today now what those events are you got to decide but if you're just pulling a couple shards here and there you're never going to have shards for anything and that's going to feel bad um so uh, on my free-to-play, once I... I mean, that's that's a little bit different with the free-to-play. But we're going to pull a couple shards on there as well. So we're just going to do it all in this video. I don't think we get CVC on the free-to-play, though. But either way, let's jump in here. I didn't ramble for too long, and hopefully you appreciate that information. Um, if you do, uh, make sure you hit the like button. And since my shard pull videos are the most popular and the most new people in here... Why not subscribe to the channel? You know, if you've been enjoying these shard pool videos and you appreciate what I've been doing for the raid community, pouring my heart and soul, then come on back out, you know, be a subscriber, um, you know, be a part of the community that I'm building here. You know, we have a very active discord that you're welcome to join for helping new players, helping people. We have a very positive community. So now I pulled my three for my dailies, and I need to decide whether I'm going to go in here. I think I'm going to pull three more, because it is CVC. 
I, as I said, I don't want to go too deep, but I would like an extra Lego. And I have a, I have a, a special thing that we're going to do in this video too, that uh, long time viewers will appreciate. Um, I mean, any of these epics I would be happy with on the free to play. For Goth, he's pretty underperforming. There it is. Ah, Seeker. Oh my goodness, Seeker would be amazing. Okay, we're just gonna pull a couple more. It's whatever. Okay, you knew this was gonna happen when I said I was only gonna pull three. That was a lie. That was a lie to myself. I knew this was gonna happen. I actually really like this guy. I would love to get this guy on the free to play. He can steal a buff, which is very good. He has an AoE, decreases their buffs, increases your buffs, which is sick. And then he has a revive. I didn't even know about the revive until I got wrecked by it in Arena. I just thought he was, uh, you know, messing with the buffs. All right. Well, anyway, I, I just want to get, you know, helpful epics. There we go. Ooh, okay, so none of these are new. <laughs> That's what we're saying. None of these are new. <laughs> Knock the Paralyzer. I wish he was good so badly. Like, we can't use him on level 25. Do you not understand this, player him? <sighs> oh. I, I really feel like this was an actual misplay. Like, he needs to be... Let me go explain. I think Scar Torsus is a little underrated. I think he also needs um, a buff. But this is just not a legendary ability. This is not a legendary ability. Make it be on a two-turn cooldown or give him an extra turn. Um, I like all of this. All of this stuff. He's got a sick dungeon aura. You know, he would be great for a lot of accounts. We only had to spend what? How many did I start with? 23? No, 26. We spent nine? That's reasonable. Not great, but it could definitely be worse. This guy underrated. If you have a, a shorter roster, like if you're a low spend or free to play, I think he would be worthwhile. He has a very interesting and unique kit. And an AoE on the A1. Um, as far as knocked, like, let's just journey over here real quick. Let's journey over to the Sand Devil, which should be where he shines. Yet, stage 25 is force. Obviously, I'm hiding that behind myself. Stage 25 is force. Why on earth would you make knocked be a magic affinity champion? When we have a force champion here on 25, he could be just an absolute all-star, I think. But no. Anyway, I would much rather use Mikage. She's got 100% sleep on her A1. <laughs> She's been my go-to. This is my Sand Devil team. Um, let me get my head on straight. Oh, right. Okay, so the next thing for the longtime viewers, let's go do a thing. We have um, some legendaries over here that need to be booked. Where is the one in question? Um, one second. That that tells you um, how well unwell I'm feeling. I was not on the skills tab. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me drink some coffee for a second and calm down. All right, I remembered to unpause the video. Nishak has been the meme of the channel for quite some time. So today, I thought, let's book him in this video for you guys. Um, yes, uh, yes, Heavy Robot. I could definitely have a second one, as you so often remind me. But big shout out to you, my dude. Uh, long time supporter and, uh, you know, frequent messenger. So thank you for all the things that you've done for me. Appreciate your longtime support. Big shout out to my dude Mong as well. I don't know if you want me to say your full name here, so I'll just say that. Uh, I don't know what your screen name is, but my IRL friend has been just watching my videos in the background for like a couple of years or something, um, you know, just like to support the channel. 
What a that's such a blessing. I appreciate you. And now he's gonna start playing the game as well, which is amazing. We have one more book, and that landed on the A1. Perfect. We will definitely book that. Um, and then my next champion to book is is going to be the freaking archer. I that needs to happen. That needs to happen. I need to mess with her. But I've been really enjoying grinding on the free to play while I've been sick. Really have. Um, and then next, I've been really thinking about booking my army of Ragashes. I leveled up three. This is number two, and this is number three. And then, like, if we come over here, I know this is a little bit of a tangent, and we'll switch to the free-to-play um, after this. But I have, I have a plus one. I never thought I would level up a second one. But when he's good in the Cursed City... He's so good. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll probably like none of them are in the best gear. They're all just in okay gear. You know, we have is this even savage? We have the two piece savage set. Okay, why? Don't know what I was thinking there. And then we have an actual savage set, and then a broken set. And then we have the, all the broken pieces. So anyway, none of them are in the best gear, but they're all absolutely amazing. I'm running out of energy, so let's switch to the free-to-play. Maybe we'll just do that as a separate video. Yeah, we're just going to do that as a separate video. I apologize for misleading you, but uh, I'm going to go rest and check back later. I'll probably have a second separate shorter video we'll do an update on the free to play as well as pulling some shards thank you for your patience and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.